and welcome back to the 3S Network. So today is hashtag workout Wednesday. Every Wednesday on the 3S Network, you are going to have a new workout to do. Whether it's abs, whether it's glutes, whether it's arms, we're gonna have something really fun for you to do every single Wednesday to challenge yourself and to push yourself and help you reach all your fitness goals and discover your potential when it comes to your body. I'm really excited about it. So today, we are going to start off Workout Wednesday, launch the very first one with a fit test. I thought, what better way to introduce you guys to Workout Wednesday than to start by testing out your limits and seeing how far you can push yourself and what's comfortable for you. And then we're gonna do this fit test once a month so that you can see your progress as you progress with Workout Wednesday and potentially 3S Fitness if you sign on for a package with us. So there are six moves in this fit test. And what you're gonna do is set your timer for one minute and you're gonna do a one move for a full minute and then record how many you were able to do in that one minute time period. So grab your journal that you used on Monday for Motivation Monday, grab a piece of paper, grab your phone if you wanna take a note on there, whatever's easiest for you so that you can access it every time you take this fit test and see your progression with this test and how much better and stronger that you get with all of these moves. So I'm gonna demonstrate each move and then I'm gonna leave it to you to set your timers and get this fit test done. It is only six moves you guys which means it's only gonna take you six minutes but I do want you to rest between 30 seconds and one minute depending on your current fitness level between moves in the fit test so it'll take you about 10 to 15 minutes to complete this entire fit test but you're only gonna be doing work for six minutes and I promise you you can do it. Six minutes this fit test, get a baseline, an idea of where you are. And if you are interested, we do a free fitness consultation for you. I will have it linked below so that you can click it and go fill out that form. And you do an assessment with me. You fill out a couple questions, tell me a little bit about your goals, and then I send you back my customized recommendations for you and what I think would be best for you on your fitness journey. So if you wanna get in on that, make sure to click below and it will take you straight to that form. Otherwise, let's get into this fit test. So we're gonna start with one of the hardest moves first which is a burpee now I know you might not like these and if you have to do them in a modified way that's totally fine but I want you to push yourself and to try to do these full out as many as you can in one minute it's fine if the first time you can only do five or ten in one minute every time you do this fit test you're gonna improve so you want to make sure that you're giving it your all every time that you do these moves so here's what a burpee looks like you're gonna stand with your hands up put them flat on the ground Jump backwards into a plank, jump upwards, and jump up, okay? So I'll do that one more time. So hands to the ground, jump back, jump forward, jump up. Got it? I'm gonna show you a modified version. So if you wanna do a modified version, if you cannot jump right now, that's totally fine. Make sure though, if you do the modified version, that you note it in your fit test notes so that when you work up to that full version, you can see the improvement in that as well. So modified version looks like hands up, Hands down, step your left foot back, step your right foot back, left foot in, right foot in, stand up, okay? Hands down, step back with both feet into that plank, step up, and stand up. So that is fit test move number one. Fit test move number two is going to be standing mountain climbers or high knees. All right, so what this looks like, you reach with your right arm as your left leg lifts, and then you're gonna transition to the other leg by jumping. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of like a glorified high knees. In fast motion, it looks like this. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's how you count when you're doing the standing mountain climbers. If you can't reach your arms up, you can just do high knees and count every time your knees go up. Make sure they're coming to hip height. That's important. Hold your hands out and make sure that your thighs are touching your hands. Again, if you can't do the jumping, you can just step, step and reach, okay? Totally fine. That is fit test move number two. Okay, fit test move number three is going to be a squat. This is unweighted, but if you get to a point where you're not exhausted after a minute of doing squats, add weights to it. Looks like this. Take your feet a little wider than hip distance apart, and I point my toes out slightly. As you lower, make sure you're pushing your knees out and come to parallel or whatever is comfortable for you. When you stand up, push your hips forward and squeeze your butt at the back. So here is what it looks like from the side. Okay, that's move number three. Move number four is going to be a plank. You can do this on your arms or on your forearms. I'm gonna show you both ways. 
So straight arm plank looks like this. You are literally gonna hold this until failure, and when you fail, you're gonna mark down how many seconds you completed after doing the plank. Or you can do it like this, on your elbows or on your arms, either way. Make sure you're in a straight line and that your butt isn't sticking up or sagging down, okay? You wanna be in a straight line so that that core is activated. So the fifth move in this set is a push-up. Now, you can do this two ways. You can do a full push-up where your hands are right under your shoulders. Your elbows are gonna come back towards your sides but just out just slightly so it's not a full tricep push-up. So you can do it like this or like this, okay? Either way is acceptable. On your feet or on your knees, whichever is most comfortable for you, and make sure that you note those changes as you progress in this fit test. Okay, the final move in this fit test is a challenging one. It is called tuck jumps. Now, for some of you, you literally might only be able to do one or two or may not be able to jump as high, and that's okay. Again, you're gonna improve. Think of this as your barometer. It's your baseline. You can only go up from here, you're only gonna improve from here. So how a tuck jump looks is you want to spread your feet hip distance apart a little bit wider, turn those toes out a little bit. You're gonna squat down and jump up and touch your thighs. Okay, so I'm gonna demonstrate it again. Squat down like halfway, jump up, touch your thighs. And then you land softly with your knees bent. So I'll do it two more times. Squat, jump. Squat, jump. It's totally okay if you can't jump very high or if you can't do very many of these. These are super challenging, just as challenging, if not more challenging, as the burpees. So those are your six moves, you guys. Get to this fit test. I'll have a wrap up at the end of this video so that you can see all the moves again. Set your timer to one minute for each and record how many reps you do for each move in each minute. And then do this fit test once a month so that you can see your progress. That's it for this Workout Wednesday video, you guys. I hope that you enjoy it. If you do the fit test and you wanna record your results below, I would love to see it. And don't forget to check out our free fitness assessment if you wanna do that with me. The link is below for that as well. Have an amazing day, you guys. I love you and I will see you on Friday. Mwah.